What's going on there, guys? We back with another one, and we got another video on Dwight Howard. And unfortunately, man, um, this is about the same thing that happened a few years ago, where he was on the phone with some man, and um, he was trying to pull receipts on Dwight. Well, now we got a man with some explicit text that was allegedly sent between himself and Dwight Howard and it's got eggplants and all kinds of mess in there. I'm going to show you those texts on the screen and his baby mama, his first baby mama, Royce, what, how about to say Royce White, Royce Reed, who used to be a cheerleader for the Orlando Magic. It was on um, Basketball Wives. She said that something was about to happen when that thing went viral with the kids and um you know everybody was coming down on Dwight for how he was training his kids she's saying he was trying to prepare for the media storm that was coming to show that he was a good father to combat that because he knew this was coming now I'm just reporting this is all alleged but I'm gonna let you peep it and judge it for yourself let's check it out so when she passed we were we were all in quarantine together. I almost didn't go because I, I was dating the doctor, but I almost didn't go. I went when she passed because it was a bunch of I'm sorry's and I'm a changed man. The world is ending. No one's ever been to the moon. The world is flat. Yes, that's the thing, apparently. All this stuff. And you need to come here because I need you to really you know, understand where I'm coming from. And I have this big estate and we gonna grow like fruit and vegetables and have farm animals and all this stuff. I just needed somewhere to quarantine. So we went and that's when all the stuff came up about the matriarch and all these things and him wanting this a polygamous lifestyle and a lot of other inappropriate things are happening at the house that I don't even love you. Right. Yeah, and I know so I'm not going to speak on it specifically. That's you know, what I'm saying. But if you saw it, you saw it. Right. Okay. But okay. Right, right after I left and escaped, I say, right after I left is when he had this grandmother bring him back and then kicked her out the house and had to leave her grandson there legally because he's the dad he kept lying to her saying that he would bring him back soon i mean i gone to this these people's home and we all went to the funeral and everything was all in these people's face saying that they would he would never take him from his family swear in these people's face that he would, would never take them take david from his family only to do exactly that this mother did this grandma didn't see her grandson for a year and even now he's been gone for a whole year and you want to know where he been with his grandparents on his side that didn't raise him so when i see that video and i see him you know pretending like he's this, this tough man and he's pretending to be this and pretending to be that. It takes me back to when he would post these things with Braylon or these other kids right before something happened. So something's about to happen. Because there's a reason. There's always a calculated reason behind it. So lastly, I'm never going to stop fighting for my child to be able to give another first impression. Man, so I'm going to say this. Uh, a lot of times when this keeps surfacing around your name, there's some smoke around there. You all heard the phrase where there's some smoke, there's some fire. And Dwight, uh, like why... Why are these guys always picking on you in this community, right? You don't you don't really hear them just throwing stuff out there about people that don't really teeter in that. You know, you had the Sydney Star thing a while ago and you have your little one-offs, but you don't hear them 
different people constantly attack the same person and they have somewhat receipts around. And it's always some texts or some phone calls or something that is like really, really incriminating with Dwight. Now, it doesn't help that we have him over there on the bench, you know, grabbing the man junk over there on the sideline. That That's just ridiculous. And so when they say that and then he's smiling all the time and he's, <laughs> he's smiling all the time and he's doing these sorts of things, it's not hard to just believe that he could indulge in this. So that don't help either when someone like this comes out. And Dwight basically says nothing about it. Now, again, this is all alleged, but it don't give us, like, he don't give us no reason to believe that he didn't do it, you know what I'm saying, or or he hasn't done it. I'd like to hear from him if this is all fake and made up and someone is faking screenshots and trying to tarnish his name. Let's hope that's what it is. My thing is just why are they continuing to target him? Normally, you know, the same person, if a person goes through this once and someone is falsely accusing them, they don't have to go to, through it two times, three times, four times. You know, but it seems like they just keep picking on Dwight. Yeah, Dwight did this. Dwight did that. Here, look at the text. Listen to the phone call. So I really want to know, man, what's up with Dwight Howard? Is he is he guilty? You know, what do y'all feel? Y'all think he's guilty? Or you think this is just some people trying to get some clout off of Dwight? I want to know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.